this video deals with the mechanism of action of lysozyme lysozyme is a naturally occurring enzyme found in secretions such as tears saliva milk and egg white it acts as an antimicrobial agent by cleaving the peptidoglycan component of bacterial cell wall and destroys the bacterial cells it's also known as muramidase or n acetyl muramide glycone hydrolase its ec number is 312 17 It contains 129 amino acid residues. Its molecular weight is 14.7 kilo dalton. Its optimal pH is uh, 6 to 9. Isoelectric point of the enzyme is 9.2. This is the 3D structure of the enzyme lysozyme. The lysozyme enzyme contains two amino acids, glutamate 35 and aspartate 52, in this structure. In 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 the surface of the enzyme, this is the structure of the that is 3D structure of the enzyme. Then the 3D structure, uh, there are two amino acid. The amino acid is mainly present: glutamate 35 and aspartate 52. Next, we will say about the history of the, uh, the lysozyme. The lysozyme enzyme was first discovered by Lars Kenko in 1909, but uh, which was um, discovered in, as a bacteriolytic element in 1922 by Alexander Fleming. In 1965, the structure of lysozyme was solved by X-ray analysis by David Clinton Phillips. Next, we will see about the mechanism of action of lysozyme. The lysozyme enzyme cleaves the bacterial cell wall by binding to the peptidoglycan enzyme, which takes place in the several steps. In the step one, binding of the enzyme and the substrate is takes place. That is, lysozyme is a bacteriolytic enzyme which cleaves the bacterial cell wall by binding to the peptidoglycan present on the outer layer of the cell wall. This is the structure of the peptidoglycan. The peptidoglycan of the bacterial cell wall contains the repeating units of the NAM and the NAG, that is N-acetyl muramic acid and N-acetyl glucosamine. These uh, two residues are repeatedly present on the structure of the peptidoglycan and the outer layer of the bacterial cell wall. The active site of the enzyme binds to the the substrate peptidoglycan in the first step philip uh, explained the uh, mechanism of action of the enzyme by designing the hexasaccharide unit which is named as the a b c d e and e f the active site of the enzyme occupies only three pairs of <coughs> NAG and NAM units and cleaves the bond present between the NAM and NAG unit only, but the catalytic activity is takes place between the D and E subunit because uh, of the several reasons. That is, this is the um, hexasaccharide unit model proposed by the flip. According to his model, he the active site of the enzyme accommodate the hexasaccharide unit of unit of peptidoglycan that is which contains the repeating unit of nag nam nag nam and nag nam these repeating unit of the uh, residues are present in uh, the structure of the peptidoglycan that is bacterial cell wall this uh, this uh, hexasaccharide unit can accommodate by the enzyme uh, lysozyme during the mechanism actually the lysozyme enzyme cleaves only the bond present between the nam and the nag unit so uh, but in this design flip uh, designed the nag unit first in the structure so nag and nam unit is not the site for the cleavage of the enzyme lysozyme so the residue a and b is not the site for the uh, cleavage of the enzyme and next one is the nam and nag unit is present this may be the site for the cleavage of the enzyme but in, uh, due to the presence of the lactyl side chain in the structure uh, this may not be site for the cleavage of the enzyme nam and uh, lysozyme so b and c is not the site for the cleavage of the enzyme and uh, next c and d is uh, 
this uh, NAC and NAM unit. So NAC and NAM unit cannot be could not be cleaved by the enzyme lysozyme. So possibly the unit the bond present between the D and E is the uh, the site for the cleavage of the enzyme lysozyme. So the glycosidic bond present between the D and E subunit is cleaved by the action of the enzyme lysozyme. This is the um, overall summary of the uh, mechanism of action of the enzyme. Actually, in this uh, first step, uh, sub uh, enzyme binds to the substrate peptidoglycan. In the active site of the enzyme, which contains two amino acids, glutamate 35, which is present in the acidic nature, and uh, aspartate 35, 32. 32 30 aspartate 52 is present in the um, uh, hydrophobic nature of the enzyme so uh, these two amino acids are binds to the peptidoglycan structure present on the bacterial cell wall in the first st and the next step the acid catalyst is takes place by the action of the amino acid glutamate 35 because of its acidic nature the glutamate 35 donates the hydrogen atom to the oxygen uh, glycosidic linkage pre present between the D and E subunit as a result the bond present between the D and subunit is uh, glycosidic bond is cleaved and the E subunit is released as a free form and uh, after the releasing there is a whole uh, proton hole is produced in the, uh, the D subunit of the uh, hexasaccharide unit as a result um, the, the C carbon atom present at the D subunit occurs the positive charge and forms the oxonium ion. Uh, oxonium ion is formed after the acid catalytic process of the glutamate 35. And then uh, the oxonium ion positive charge present on the um, oxonium ion is stabilized by the or negative charge present on the aspartate 52 and then there is a interaction is takes place between the positive charge and of the carbonium ion and the negative charge of the aspartate 52 as a result stabilization of the um, glutamate is stays, takes place there is oxonium ion is stays, takes place with the help of the aspartate 52 in the next step third step that is a covalent catalytic process is occurs that is due to the interaction between the aspartate 52 and the oxonium ion there is a covalent bond is formed between the d subunit and the aspartate 52 and forms the covalent intermediate and in the next step and the um, regeneration of the active site is takes place by our, after the addition of the water molecule the water molecule is added to the covalent intermediate and the H plus ion present in the water molecule attack the negative charge present in the glutamate as a result the proton is accepted by the glutamate so here the glutamate now acts as a base catalyst but in the first step which acts as a acid catalyst and remaining OH ion attack the carbonium oxonium ion the covalent intermediate or the carbon atom present at the D subunit accept the OH molecule um, from the uh, water molecule as a result the bond present between the aspartate and D subunit is cleaved as a, and D subunit is released in the free form and uh, this one um, aspartate also released from the D subunit and as a result uh, the last regeneration of the active site of the enzyme is take, uh, takes place um, in, uh, in which aspartate 52 and glutamate 35 is present and which is ready again ready for the next cycle in this way the cattle um, bacteriolytic activity of the lysozyme enzyme is carried out and these are the steps involved in the uh, mechanism the first step binding of the substrate is takes place in the second step acid catalyst that is uh, formation of oxonium ion is takes place by the action of the amino acid H plus um, glutamate 35 this glutamate 35 donates the H plus to the 
sub peptidoglycan and uh, which uh, leaves the the e subunit and followed by the formation of the oxonium ion the next the next step stabilization of the oxonium ion the oxonium ion is uh, stabilized with the help of the aspartate 52 which carries the uh, negative charge which is present in the hydrophobic environment and in the third step addition of water molecules takes place followed by the regeneration of the active site of the enzyme the active site of enzyme is regenerated by the addition of the water molecule thank you